Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. With microdust becoming a significant health threat in Korea, Kyungi Province has been providing facilities that serve those more vulnerable to respiratory issues with indoor air quality improvement support through the Clean Indoor Air Program. This year, 400 more facilities will benefit from this program. This classroom for senior citizens features, in addition to eco-friendly wall paint, a microdust meter in one corner as well as microdust filters on the windows. These air quality control amenities were installed by Kyungi Province through the program known as the Clean Airspace Support Program. 60대, 70대, 80대 어민들 오시는데 그 전에 기침도 좀 많이 하고 예, 답답하다고 하셨는데 지금 굉장히 편안해 하시면서 수업이 잘 진행되고 있어서 Microdust is often referred to as a national disaster in Korea. Introduced in 2016 for more vulnerable individuals, the Clean Indoor Air program will be expanded from this year. The 400 facilities to benefit from program expansion include those for seniors, the disabled and children, as well as for the homeless. Support services include the installation of air quality improvement devices and wallpaper replacement. To date, a total of 556 facilities have benefited from the Clean Indoor Air program, becoming clean air environments. Kyungi Province will also expand the range of support services from the current facility improvement to customized services utilizing various air purifying methods based on site investigations. On May 28th, the 335th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly ended with the fourth general meeting that saw the passage of important items including the first revised supplementary budget of the year. The revised supplementary budget passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly amounts to 2.15 trillion Korean won, an 8.8% increase over the original provincial budget. The total budget for the year now stands at 26.52 trillion Korean won. 오늘 의결해 주신 소중한 예산은 1,350만 도민 모두에게 혜택이 고루 돌아갈 수 있도록 낭비 없이 투명하고 공정하게 집행하도록 하겠습니다. During this extraordinary session, a total of 78 items were reviewed and passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. These items include the partial amendment of a dietary education support ordinance that enables Kyungi fruit to be used for children's snacks in the province, and an ordinance that makes an open bidding system compulsory for artistic structure installations in provincial organization buildings. The Kyungi Provincial Assembly also approved additional investments in Yangju Techno Valley development and the selection of the Kyungi Provincial Medical Center as the operator of the Kyungi Provincial Mental Hospital. The next Kyungi Provincial Assembly session, which will review provincial accounts for 2018, is slated to begin on June 11th. Kyungi Province recently made its first youth basic income payments to which all 24-year-olds who have been living in the province for more than three years are entitled. In order to promote this basic income policy, the province also launched a publicity group known as the Chungchun Creators. Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung attended the launching ceremony. More than 100 youths in white t-shirts bearing the words Youth Basic Income gathered at Suwon Station Plaza. They are youth basic income recipients from around the province who were selected as Chungchun Creators, a group that will publicize youth basic income through various media channels, including social networking services. 
청년 기본소득을 알려서 우리 친구들이 이 혜택을 받고 어, 취업 준비나 다른 생활에서 좀더 편해졌으면 좋겠습니다. One of the core policies of the current Gyeonggi Provincial Administration, the youth basic income amounts to 1 million Korean won paid over the course of one year. During the ceremony, Governor Lee spoke freely with Chung Chum creators about this basic income policy. 골목도 살고 지역도 살고 또 자영업자들도 좀 혜택을 누릴 수 있게 하자고 해서 한 번은 반드시 받는 돈으로 동네 골목에 써라 라는 취지로 지역 화폐를 지급하고 있는 겁니다. The Chung Chung Creators launching ceremony featured performances by popular singers who contributed to an entertaining summer evening. On May 27th, Gyeonggi Province and four cities of the province signed a cooperation agreement to realize the early commencement of the Pyeongtaek Bubal rail line construction. The construction of this 53.8 kilometer rail line, which will connect eastern and western regions of the province, has been delayed since the project was included in the third National Railroad Network Plan in 2016. According to this agreement, Gyeonggi Province and the four cities through which this rail line passes will establish an executive committee and work together to ensure the preliminary feasibility study by the Korea Rail Network Authority reflects local development plans and to respond to the results of the feasibility study. The four cities involved are Pyeongtaek, Anseung, Myeongin and Icheon. This rail line will become part of the railroad network linking eastern and western regions of Korea from Posung in the west to Kangnung in the east. Gyeonggi Province plans to make a joint proposal with the four cities for the early commencement of construction work while preparing for the results of a preliminary feasibility study through jointly commissioned reviews. With summer heat expected to arrive earlier than usual in Korea this year, Gyeonggi Province has announced plans to provide solitary seniors of limited mobility with air conditioner and related electricity cost support. Last summer, unable to travel to the local senior citizen center due to arthritis, Park, a solitary senior living in a semi-basement home, had to struggle through the heat while relying only on an electric fan. However, she can enjoy a cool summer this year thanks to the air conditioning system installed by Gyeonggi Province. 작년에는 참을 수가 없을 정도로 더웠잖아요. 근데 올부터는 이제 그러지 않고 잘 지내게 해 주셔서 감사하고요. This year, Gyeonggi Province will provide 566 solitary seniors in the province who are limited in their mobility and also basic livelihood beneficiaries with air conditioner installation support. By June, these seniors will be provided with wall-mounted air conditioning systems with humidity control and air purifying functions. In addition, these seniors will also be provided with monthly electricity cost support of 40,000 Korean won for three months. This energy welfare program for seniors is the first of its kind among the area-wide autonomies of Korea. Gyeonggi Province will continue to introduce programs that will help eliminate welfare blind spots. Gyeonggi Province has been operating exclusive dental service facilities for individuals with serious disabilities who are unable to use local dentist services. This year, the province will expand dental treatment services at these facilities. Using local dental clinics was beyond the means of Lim, an individual with a Class I intellectual disability and a serious gum disease. However, he is now receiving regular treatment at the Gyeonggi Provincial Medical Center's Suwon Hospital. Uh, 
Currently, dental clinics for individuals with serious disabilities are being operated at the Suwon and Weijungbu hospitals of the Kyunggi Provincial Medical Center. Depending on the income and degree of disability of an individual, dental services valued at up to 2 million Korean won are provided free of charge per person annually. Kyunggi Province has expanded dental treatment cost support as well as dental treatment facilities and personnel numbers for individuals with serious disabilities. 중증 장애인들은 치과 진료할 때 전신 마취가 필요해서 올해는 마취과 전문 의사를 지원을 했습니다. Kyunggi Province will continue the expansion of dental treatment facilities for individuals with serious disabilities based on utilization results. In response to the tour boat accident that occurred on May 30th in Hungary, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung convened an emergency response meeting and instructed that the families of victims from the province be provided with necessary support on a one-on-one -on -one basis. As of 3 p.m. on May 30th, it was believed that there were five tourists from Kyunggi Province among the boat passengers with one person having been rescued. Clearing his previous schedule, Governor Lee summoned safety-related officials, including a vice governor and an assistant governor, and gave instructions for obtaining information about losses and for the swift preparation of responses. Governor Lee urged officials to provide the victims' families with one-on-one -on -one support to prevent them from experiencing any inconvenience in coping with this misfortune that occurred overseas. Governor Lee also instructed officials to form a disaster response team to prepare for all possible developments. Kyunggi Province is also considering the dispatch of search and rescue teams while providing victims' families with cost support for travel to Hungary and keeping residents up to date on the situation through the spokesperson's office. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.